people, you got to be careful. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, when I'm making this video, let's see. I'm going to look at the date here. It is Wednesday, October 18th. I'm probably going to pop this one up tomorrow morning on Thursday so everything else gets pushed back. Uh, but, <laughs> so, we will, uh, we will go from there. You'll see the other videos. There's a couple more videos coming up yet from the weekend and a final walkthrough and everything else. But, uh, so the gravel that got put in this area, the bulldozer, I mean, the um, gravel guy rode his truck up and down it, you know, and stuff like that. And then everybody else has been driving on it. So it's, it's packing down pretty good, which is good. I actually still have a little gravel here. Um, that I think what I'm going to actually do, and I'll just kind of show you real quick, and then we'll get into this video right after that. But I got a little bit of gravel there, and I'm thinking right here um, in this spot, I could put all that gravel right through here to pack that in better. And I think that's where that is going to go instead of trying to spread it out over here. I got another load of gravel coming in. Um, I'm not exactly sure what day I'm going to or you know when that's going to happen, but it's going to be this month And I'm debating I like to dump it there um, Right there and then that way I can utilize that for whatever I need uh, You know moving forward when uh, we get into uh, Winter there's potholes and there's some spots in a road um, that still need attention You know and stuff like that. So that's what that's going to be for but anyway Let's get into this video, guys. Are we waiting for an event? That's the question. That's the question of this video. Are we waiting for an event? And what am I talking about? So when they're talking, um, there was a high-ranking politician, and I can't remember which one it was, otherwise I would quote him directly for what he said. But he was talking about, we did get, not get into World War I until the Lusitania. I believe it was the Lusitania in World War I. Um, he said we didn't get into World War II until Pearl Harbor. Uh, you know, and he's talking about all these different events that happened that precipitated us getting involved in a major war. And uh, the way that he was talking about that made me go, what do they have planned? What is the plan? Because if you remember, I believe the Lusitania, they found out um, later on. If I'm not, Don't quote me on this, okay, because I don't remember exactly because there's different events that have happened. But I believe they found out that that was sabotage and the explosion was from the inside, if I'm not mistaken, with the Lusitania. The other things, you know, there's always conjecture of, of what happened, uh, you know, and how it happened and what was involved with it and all those type of things um, in the different events. You know, everything from 9-11 to, you know, you name it, okay? But, anyway, with him saying that, it just really got me thinking. And it got me thinking, what do they got planned? Now, what did we just have happen here, right? Biden just went over to Israel, and it was all announced that Biden was going to Israel. And I said to myself, are they going to try to off him when he goes over to Israel and use that for a reason for us to get involved I mean, you know, because why, why did they make this so public uh, that he was going over there to show support for Israel, you know? I mean, that was, to me, that was concerning, uh, you know, in, in a situation where there's a lot of danger, a lot of times they'll go in very quietly, uh, you know, different presidents have gone and had, you know, Thanksgiving or whatever the case may be with the troops, and so, you know, they did, it, they did it that way. They did it very quietly. They got in, they did their thing, and they got out. The high publicity of this had me concerned. Um, I believe he's already gone out of there. I don't know 100% for sure. But I just thought that that was really interesting. And come here, girl. No, no, no. Here. Come here. Um, but again, uh, you know, my concern is... Uh, hell, no, no, here. Good girl, stay here. Um, what event do they have planned next? What is going to be this catalyst? What is going to be this thing um, that they do 
to try to get us involved into something else. That's kind of what my thought process is right now. When they start talking about, well, we didn't get involved with this until this happened, and we didn't get involved with that till that happened. And a lot of those things that happened, um, you know, there was a lot of questions afterwards, like, uh, you know, Pearl Harbor, for an example. Did they know ahead of time? Did they allow Pearl Harbor to happen? These are questions, guys. I'm not making a statement saying that they did or that they did not. I'm just asking questions, right? So those questions were put out there, um, you know, because the aircraft carriers were not in port when that happened. They were out to sea. And so was it allowed to happen? You know, and again, I don't know if it was or wasn't. Or I think, yeah, the aircraft carriers or destroyers, something was already out to sea. Um, you know, when Pearl Harbor got hit. So, you know, they didn't get the resounding victory that they had hoped for at that point in time. But, you know, again, that precipitated us getting involved in World War II. Um, and, you know, so that's a fact. That is a fact. So, you know, again, when things are allowed to happen, which, you know, I don't know if they are or not. I mean, like I said, I'm just, I am sitting here speculating completely. Um, I'm not saying anything is done on purpose or not done on purpose. But I find it fascinating that all these events happened. And some of them were very questionable and, uh, you know, those type of things. So my question is, what's the next event? So what, are, what event are we waiting for? And so I, that's a question for you guys. What do you think? And there's Rob's place down there. And uh, it looks, it's so cute right there, to be honest with you. Not to change the subject, but it really does. It's a great spot. He's tucked in. Uh, he's got the hill protecting him from the woods. And, you know, the woods basically surrounding him. And even if you're down in the meadow over here, looking that way well when the leaves are all full of trees you can't even see the place and uh, you know and as these trees through here grow up um, and get bigger you're not going to be able to see the place that way either so those are all you know those are all things that are going on there but uh, anyway ah <sighs> Colors are all changing, as you can see. I'll just kind of pan around here a little bit, let you see all the colors. They're very, very pretty. Like I said, fall, folks, is my absolute favorite time of year. We got a beautiful red right there. That one's just a gorgeous tree. Um, back there behind the pavilion, there's another red. You know, the leaves, like I said, the leaves are all changing. A lot of leaves are already down. A lot of leaves are already down as well. So, you know. Anyway, but I definitely want to hear your feedback on this. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you think there's an event coming? Do you think it would be a planned event? Do you think something will be allowed to happen on purpose uh, to get us involved in something? So I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback on this. I want to hear what you guys have to say. All right. Uh, remember, folks, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? Have a great day, everybody. I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.